What is up everyone and welcome back to another episode of Triple Seven Riding. So you guys are probably wondering right now like what the heck? <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty weird setup right now. Uh, I wish I had my dirt bike with me. So anyways, I got my metal detector with me. Sorry about the wind. It's pretty windy out here today. Shoot, which way? I think it's this way. I hope. But yeah, shoot, every time I try to talk, the wind keeps coming back. But anyways, I'll slow down a little bit. I'm going metal detecting, and um, in my previous video from the uh, trip back in August last year I found this uh, pretty old cabin like right next to the road and um, it's a pretty cool it's a pretty neat area and um, I took the metal detector out didn't really find much but right today I'm gonna go back there on the bicycle I don't know how long the ride's gonna be but we'll get there and we'll try to uh, See if we can find anything good. I'm hoping to spend some more time there. So that's probably why I didn't find anything good because I only stayed there for like 30 minutes. So, but yeah, we'll see if we can find anything cool. I think it's been picked through pretty well, but it doesn't hurt to try. Yeah, sorry about the wind alert. I'll get back to you guys in a sec when the wind calms down. Yeah, about 20 minutes ago, I saw some people driving down this road. Hopefully they didn't go to the uh, old cabin area. I don't know, I'll be pretty happy if I find like an old horseshoe or something. I don't know. I'm not looking for not looking for a rare silver dollar or anything. <laughs> Just wanna go have some fun and try to find some stuff other than trash. If I can. Really want to get back into the metal detecting gig. Looks like there's a vehicle up ahead. Hopefully that's not where the cabin is. I hope there's a trailer right there. Keep pedaling along here, but yeah. Anyways, really neat scene, really neat metal detecting scene. Someone told me was every uh, everything, every find tells a story, and that is 100% true. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I see, I see something up ahead. Shoot. I think somebody is at my spot. It's not my spot, but it's the spot I wanted to go to. I'm just going to kind of go a little slow here. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, thank God. There's nobody here. Here it is. Old cabin of some sort. Oh, there's those, uh, I don't know if you can see them, but there's those uh, shacks that we also found last year. Creepy little shacks. I'll leave the links to these. Leave the link to the uh, to the video that I made last year. Yeah, I'm gonna go get the metal detector set up and see if I can't jump across this creek. These hiking boots are slightly waterproof. And yeah, we'll we'll go do a little metal detecting. Hope you guys enjoy. Not really any good spots to jump across this little creek here. I'm got my foot slightly wet, but it's okay though. Like I said, they're slightly waterproof, so it'll be okay. Yeah, let's get the gear ready and go see what we can find. Starting out kind of close to the uh, creek here. I don't know really. I don't really know what this is. I think it's a homestead. I don't know. If it could be just a shed or something. But you know, I don't know. A lot of people could have gotten water from this creek and could drop something. So let's start there. Just kind of work our way around. still on here. You guys are an 86. Right. There used to be a lot of homesteads on these flats before. This place has a whole bunch of history and I think that is one of them if I'm not mistaken. Get back to you guys when I find something.
Screw signal. Probably a nail. It's pretty iron. You never know though. You, usually, you're gonna try to dig every signal because you know it could be an axe head or something. Let's dig it. And that is our find. Let's keep looking. Looks like there's our second find of the day. Looks like an old like. Mix it up in the light. Looks like an old uh, harmonica piece. Can't tell though. Pretty neat. Always check your holes. Put that in the pocket. Let's check your holes. I think that's it. Let's keep on digging. Looks like a really, really small square nail. If that's the case. This place might go back to the 1800s. Like, sure looks like it's pretty beat up. I don't know. It did have round nails on it, so it could have been reinforced, though. So keep looking around. Beautiful signal. It's a high one. It's usually a sign of silver. Let's take a look. Right there. Oops. Be careful. There it is. Foil. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's a full signal. And there's our proof that this is definitely. One old place. That means this place could go back to the 1800s, like, pretty good chance it can. Which is pretty exciting. Yeah, it's a square nail right there. It's a good sign. That is a rocking signal. It's probably just a piece of junk, though, but let's dig it anyways. Alarm. Just a nail pit. Now, I know one thing. Closer you are to the building, like, I'm literally right next to the building right now. Yeah. Closer you are to the building, the better chance, the, you know, the better chance you're gonna find something good. But at the same time, the better chance that you're gonna find a piece of trash too. Yeah, found about I don't know, 20 nails so far. Hopefully that means we're gonna get to the good stuff. I hope. That right there looks like the uh, entrance, if I were to guess. Side piece goes all the way down. Yes, it definitely looks like it's been reinforced. Just kind of looking around here. It looks like I see something under there. I don't know what it is, but let me check it out. Looks modern though. Geo catch. Do not remove. It says geo cache on it. Geocache. Even though it says do not remove, I'm still gonna go take a peek. Yeah, I'm just gonna see what's in it and then I'll put it back. Interesting, yeah. Well, if there's a geocache here, then I'm sure this place has been picked up pretty well. Woo! Haven't really had a reason to complain about the mosquitoes this weekend until now. It's really bad in here. Found this, uh, button. Oops. Looks like it's just made of plastic. Could be porcelain or something. I have no idea. I'll keep it anyways. Wasn't in the geocache. But yeah. If any of you guys play geocache out there, I'm not going to tell you where this is, so. Hmm. This is a neat area. Just kind of eyeballing in here. Cool if I found a spot like an old bottle or something. Last weekend I was at a, I was out wood cutting and stuff. I brought my bike. I was putting around my bike. It wasn't really that much excitement. That's why I didn't make a video. But uh, yeah. What was exciting was I came across an old bottle dump from like I'd say 40s, 50s, 60s. I found some neat bottles in there. I'm gonna go back. When I go back, I will make a video. So yeah, all these days I'll show you guys the bottles I found. I don't know if you guys see something. I don't know, there's gotta be something in here. It's still probably gonna. Gosh. It bit, get attacked. After this, I might try to. This looks like the front entrance right here. I might try to just. You know. Kinda. 
sweep out in the front here just to see if there's anything because there could have been a path right here. Who knows? This thing's definitely been abandoned for years, that's for sure. Ow! Skeeters! Another way you can tell the cabin's old or not is if you uh, look at how the logs are on there. Like, this you can see is completely 100% hand cut. This is no. This is not done by no modern machine or anything. Like this is just completely hand cut wood. Like it's pretty crazy. Like actually, somebody I think used like, like people used to be like where I'm standing right here. This is, this is probably what this is where people used to live. Like someone was living in here. Could have been family maybe, or it could be just a barn. I don't know. What's telling me it's probably is the barn or shed is there's a window cut out right there but this place probably has been picked through a lot because like like if it was completely 100 percent untouched you could see there'd be an old door lane right there and stuff and yeah there'd just be more stuff but i don't know it's he said it's a pretty neat place so these are my finds from the hunt found this uh cool little uh looks like a piece of a uh, harmonica or something like that I'll tell us something like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, probably tells a story. And um, found this cool little thing. First, I thought it was an Allen wrench or a bent nail, but it looks like it's hollow. Who knows? It could be what it was used for. And um, I found a button. It was just sitting on top of the soil inside of the uh, cabin. Not really, if it's, I don't know if it's an old one or not. It could be a modern one. Like, it doesn't like. It might be ceramic, I don't know. Like, it could be just plastic. Like, it's definitely got a little bit of a weight to it. It's kind of heavy, so it could be old. Well, keep it anyways. But yeah, did not find much from that trip. Just those three little things. I kind of ran out of time. I wanted to go check out another area, but yeah, I just kind of got sidetracked. But um, that was a fun hunt. Hoping to get into more metal detecting this year. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, yeah, there's going to be. I got a lot of cool uh, metal detecting video ideas heading your guys' way. And um, I said that last year, but it never happened. But I'm pretty sure it will happen this year. So, anyways, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you guys leave that like button and nice good rev. And um, hit that subscribe button too if you haven't yet. And peace out. See you later.